Hey guys, so this is the look I did today. It's just a natural glam. I did the look with both red and neutral lipstick, so let's get started. Okay, so after washing my face, moisturizing, and going with my Benefit Professional Primer, I used my oil-free CC cream by It Cosmetics in the shade Medium Tan. I then went in with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. I did this to highlight a few areas under my eyes and the bridge of my nose and the middle of my forehead and just around the mouth. Going in with my Zoeva Buffer Brush number 104, I blended everything out until it was smooth and silky. I went back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just on any blemishes and red marks to further cover them. Going back in with the same Zoeva brush, I blended everything and I was happy with how the product sat on my skin. Using the powder brush by Nude by Nature, I went in with my Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Translucent to set my base. I went in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and a Morphe Contour Brush to contour my cheekbones, forehead, jawline and nose. Using a Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Hustler Baby, I used my finger to highlight the end of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a Morphe highlighting brush to highlight my cheekbones. After filling in my brows with the Body Shop Brow Sculpt 3-in-1 Contour Brow Pen, I went in with the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Clear to set my brows. Then, using a fluffy eyeshadow Morphe brush, I went back in with my Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder and set my eyelids. Using the Jacqueline Hill palette by Morphe, I used the same fluffy Morphe brush to go in with this colour. I then used a smaller, rougher Morphe brush to go in with this colour to start defining my crease and slowly kept building up the colour until I was happy with the overall shade. Going in with this colour and a smaller, rougher Morphe brush, I continued to define my crease and again just kept building it up until I was happy with the shade. I then placed that same colour on the outer corner of my eye just to further define my eye. Using this darker shade and a pointy, rough Morphe brush, I finished defining my crease. I also used one of the larger but still rougher brushes to fully blend in the dark colour so we wouldn't be left with any patches. By placing these two colours on the outer corner of the eye, using a very small rounded Morphe brush, it helps to define the eye and make it look more bold. This colour is then placed on my lid using my finger because often when using brushes, the vibrance and the pigment doesn't show up with metallic colours. I also then use a rough blending brush to ensure that any harsh lines made by my finger are blended out. I then place that gold metallic colour in the inner corner of the eye. So basically where if that brown isn't, you attach that gold colour to the eye and blend it in. Going back in with the Fenty highlighter I used earlier, using a small fluffy Morphe brush, I place it in the inner corner of my eye and along my eyebrow ridge. I go in with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara on my top lashes. Following that, I go in with the Benefit Their Real Mascara on my bottom lashes. I then go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi, which is followed by the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Los Angeles. Or I also went in with the MAC Matte shade Chili, finishing off with the Chanel shade 64, just to give it some gloss and moisture. These are the final looks. Personally, I enjoy the red lips better just because I think it suits my skin tone better. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. See you next time.